Hello there and welcome to Schofield Studios. And today I'll be ranking all the Jurassic Park movies from worst to best. And I even have the book with me, the original book that started it all. So, yeah, I'm definitely ready for this ranking. It was actually kind of easy because there was one okay one, two good ones, and two great ones. So remember to subscribe and click the bell down below to get notifications for new videos. And if you don't agree with me, do not hate me for it. Just uh, you know, tell me why I'm wrong in the comments below. If you haven't seen all five movies, go watch that, then come back. Because there's a spoiler alert right there and right here. So um, yeah, let's begin. In last place is Jurassic Park 3. This movie actually isn't bad, but it's not good either. Like, uh, let me start with the bad stuff. First of all, the characters are very bland and forgettable. There, there was actually one character um, who was a pilot, and I just totally forgot he was in the movie until uh, they showed him back. So, yeah, th that's one problem. Two, there's not that many original ideas. Like, uh, we already saw all these uh, dinosaur stuff, and even the original ideas are bad. For instance, they kill off the T-Rex from the first two movies. And to replace the T-Rex is the Spinosaurus. A dinosaur you probably never heard of. And then at the end, the military shows up. It, I mean, it's like they took the good things from the first two movies and placed them in this movie. And it's not as good as the first two movies. There's some good stuff that doesn't make it bad, like it goes in a quick pace and uh, there's a lot of dinosaur action. But other than that, the movie is... How do I put this? Forgettable. Number four is Jurassic Park Fallen Kingdom. I actually really like this movie because it plays out like a horror movie. It's scary and, you know, I just like those type of movies. It's actually from the director of The Orphanage, uh, which is a scary uh, movie, and uh, what else? Um, yeah, the horror seems familiar to The Orphanage. I actually rewatched this more than any other Jurassic Park sequel. But one problem. There is, how do I put this? Barely any dinosaur action like it takes an hour for the dinosaurs to even start the action like if they put more dinosaurs killing people and going on a rampage then this will probably be like number three but you know number three because the plot doesn't isn't really executed right like the uh, island is gonna explode that's not mysterious that's not like adventurous there's you know um, there's not that much of what's going on here or um, you know mystery to it it's just the islands exploding and this guy wants to auction off the dinosaurs to people who are going to do something with the i don't know what they're going to do with the dinosaurs then again i did like seeing jeff goldblum come back even if it was for a second and I did like the scariness, the action. I think it was well directed. But the execution of the writing was a little off and there was barely any dinosaur action. So it comes in at number four. And then number three is the Lost World Jurassic Park. The one where Jeff Goldblum is in the lead. This used to be my favorite Jurassic Park movie because I didn't see the first one. So that was... The first one I ever seen. Then I saw the first one, Jurassic World, and I liked it. But, you know, this movie was really good. 
and it still is because it has a lot of dinosaur action but not in the first quarter it kind of went slow in the first quarter but after that it was really quick paced but the highlight here that makes it better than Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom is at the end where the, uh, the T-Rex sits skates in San Francisco and causes mayhem that'll go on in history in movie history I should just go with the script. Number two is Jurassic World. This movie has Chris Pratt fighting a dinosaur that can camouflage. And uh, it's kind of like a T-Rex, but also with a raptor in its genes. It has great action, bloody violence, characters. And most of all, it's not comparing, comparing itself to the original. And that's good because no movie can live up to the original. Speaking of which, number one is, drumroll please, Jurassic Park, the first one. And people forget that the movie is an adaptation of a book because it just feels original and it's a really nice movie and you can be forgiven for thinking that this is the movie that started Steven Spielberg's career. But it's not, it's, I think it was Jaws. Action, 10 out of 10. Characters, 10 out of 10. Plot, 10 out of 10. Impact is 10 out of 10. I'm forgetting something. Oh yeah, action is 10 out of 10. It's timeless and one of the greatest movies ever made. And one of Steven Spielberg's best movie, which is saying a lot because Steven Spielberg is a really great director. Thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe and click the bell and uh, like, and you know, just for more content like this. If you like the video, if you didn't, then don't do that. Anyways, thanks for watching. Um, I I will make more content oh, every day. So um, be sure to subscribe again. Also, if you don't agree with me, tell me in the comments what I got wrong. If I should put a movie higher than it was. Or if you didn't like Jurassic Park, or put it lower. You know, anything like that. Because it's just my opinion. So don't get mad at me.